the Joe Rogan experience. We were talking about Jeff Bezos before the show, who's now the richest man in human history. It's, it's like, it's inconceivable amount yeah. of money. He's worth $105 billion, right? Which is just like, what the fuck? He's like the eighth biggest landowner in the United States. Do you know that? He just buys... No, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm not stunned, though. I mean, no, of course not. He has 300,000 acres of Texas. Whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. That's a big slab. Yeah, I'm He's pretty just sure... Balling. He's just balling out of I'm control. I'm pretty sure his D.C. home was either a, I feel like it was either a museum or a hotel before. He was like, make that shit my house now. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a museum. <laughs> They're like, it's your house. I wonder what he's like to hang out with. Because there's a photo of him. See if you can find this photo, Jamie. There's a photo of Jeff Bezos from 1993. And he's got like a vinyl banner yeah. <clears throat> above his desk that says Amazon.com. Uh -huh. And it's just him. In this janky little fucking Ikea desk. Yeah. Like, like bad clothes. Typing. Yeah. yeah it's like, kind of chubby. Yeah. Typing away. And now he's like, <laughs> got some muscle on now him. he's jacked and tan and probably got a supermodel for a girlfriend, does he? No. He's got a wife, four kids. Regular? Yeah. Normal? Yeah. Really? She's an author. Yeah. How odd. I know. Odd. Hmm. He doesn't schedule morning meetings so he can hang out with the kids. Really? Yeah. Wow. I read all this stuff. I wonder why he's going so hard hmm you know, know. Like, when you hit 105 b -b 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 billion yeah you would think you'd go eh we're good i know i think you just start really collecting because you're like because you know when he bought the washington post you know it's not like he's like i love journalism he'd right. be like it'd be cool to own a newspaper <laughs> you know what i mean like what do you what, at that level you're just like I like waterfalls. Are there any for sale or something? You know. You well, just... he's got Washington Post is one of the weird ones where you get a link. Someone will send you a link, and you click on it, and it's a Washington Post article, and it says you obviously love great journalism. That's right. Come sign up. Like fuck off. They what? don't even give you the free reads. I feel no. like New York Times will give you ten free. Re I, I signed up after I, you know, I kept clicking those. I was like, mm -hmm. I better sign up. Washington Post. I feel like click number one. They're like, do you yeah. want to read this? You want to pay or not? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not paying. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I support paying for journalism, but I feel like they should give us a taste. You know, <laughs> we should get a little taste. It's, it's tough to trust journalism these days. It's tough to trust, like, how, how fucking weird are your articles going to be? That's true. It's, journalism's tough. Uh, watching news has become, man, I, I remember when it started to skew to personality and taste. Yeah. Now it's like off the rails. It is off the rails. That's where the money is. I know, but it's like yeah. you're totally just going with who, like you're going to watch, you can select what do I feel like leaning towards. Yeah. And then you watch that. Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah, yeah, Rachel Maddow. Yeah, uh, there he is. That's, look at that picture. Oh, my God. Isn't that crazy? Yes. He looks nothing like that now. Yeah. That's what $105 billion will do. He's just sitting there with that. Amazon.com banner. I hope that's still hanging somewhere in his house. <coughs> yeah, he probably shoots loads on that thing. <laughs> what do you? Th oh my God. Yeah. Crazy that he started. Off, I remember Amazon being a book thing. Yeah. I remember being a place to buy books. I remember thinking, how weird, like an online bookstore. Why wouldn't you just go to the bookstore store where you could see the book? Right. Like, <laughs> and all those bookstores shut. Like they closed. They so, killed like, all of them. Yeah, there's only a few left. Well, I know a guy who got a deal with Amazon.com to publish a book. It was like when Amazon started publishing books. And they blackballed him because of this, because he had had traditional outlet deals before. And, you know, his books would be front and center in Barnes and Noble and all these yeah. other different places. He's a pretty popular author. But as soon as he went to Amazon.com, they're like, fuck you. And they just shut him out. They shut him out of all those stores. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, like there's like a weird book war going on that I didn't know about. Well, they're both probably trying, I mean, those book people were trying to keep their business model going and thriving, you know? And he Yeah, but trying... doing it by threats is never the way to go. Probably not, no. I mean, the best way to go is when Amazon publishes a book that people actually want to buy in your store, you dumb fuck. Sure. Put it in your store. You know what I hate about these uh, super rich guys? They'll never, they never in their interviews talk, have like, the only one who will talk like what it's like to ball at that level and make it sound fun and like the things you want to ask is Mark Cuban. I've seen him in interviews be like, ah, oh, yeah, I got a lot of shit, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and like knows that like that's a genuine curiosity for people. Like, how fun right. is that? You have two seven forty sevens. He's like, yeah, man, that's pretty cool, right? And he talks about it. 
but I saw this interview with Gates, and this guy was asking all those questions. He was like, do you have to worry about, like, when somebody asks you, like, when you ask for something that someone's going to try to ask for more because of your known wealth? He's like, you know, my charity really is, a, like, just, like, dodging all those questions yeah of like the fun shit that everyone wants to right know. he right. just kept going back to his charity and we're like we know you're a fucking charitable guy tell us what it's like to own six planes bro <laughs> like <laughs> what kind of shit do you have you know he's like this xanadu house it's like seventy thousand square feet or something well he's got a house i think it's on puget sound um it's somewhere in the seattle area yeah i think but... it's medina medina or medina is that what it is? I think that's what it's called. But it's so freaky. Look at that. Looks like you're using an ad, an ad blocker. What did you pull up? What did you pull up? 19 crazy facts about his house. Oh, okay. $123 million. <laughs> Disable your ad blocker so we can read it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we, um, we were in Seattle, and there's this uh, thing that's near a bridge um, where you, you go under this bridge, and they have this uh, these clear walls where you can see the salmon swimming up the salmon ladders mm -hmm. like they have everything set up with these clear like glass walls and you can watch it it's really pretty badass yeah but the guy who was there who was the uh you know the guy to this thing who's explaining us you know how this works and which kind of salmon you're looking at and the whole deal he was like you know oh, my uncle worked on the bill gates house he starts talking about bill gates house where bill gates house is and mm -hmm. where he lives and I, I remember thinking like how weird must it be if you're so rich that all everybody wants to do is talk about like, hey, my friend worked on your his yeah. house, his, yeah. his, his house, and I was like, well, what's it like? And he just starts describing. He goes, well, he has like some sort of a submarine access in case he's getting kidnapped, like someone's trying to jack him. They can get in a submarine and shoot out into the river. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, I don't know even how much of that is even true because this guy seemed like yeah he was missing a little piece of his brain. Yeah. <laughs> start, start really adding stuff to yeah, it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, how much of this is urban myth? I know that they were reporting even like I don't know when that house was built, 10, 15, or whatever years ago. That even back then there was shit in his house because it was super high tech. Of like, if you walked in a room. Music would play, and yeah. as you left the room, music would die down and pick up in the next room. So that, you know it had like, which I, th I think you could probably regular person could probably do something like that now, but like that was unheard of. You yeah, know? I think you wore a pin. A you pin. You put a pin on, and that pin, as you walked into different rooms, recognized that you were the person. <clears throat> so you had specific colors that you liked. So there'd be like backlighting that was. So it's like to be his kids. Like he's big on uh he's the one that started that giving pledge which is mm -hmm. like for billionaires to give the overwhelming majority of their wealth right to charity so that you don't pass on billions to your children right you like so his thing is like i'm gonna leave my kids money but not like crazy, crazy money. money which you're like yeah that's you know i totally get the idea behind that but also like if you grew up with his you know you're his kid and you're like Oh, there's, we got lions this year or whatever. <laughs> and then and then you're like, you know, you grow up and you're like, I'm a, whatever, a photographer now. Uh, my dad left me $5 million. But like. $5 million is, a, dollars is great. It's great. But my thing is like, it's such a step down from what they're used to. I it's don't feel be, even remotely bad for some fucking kid who gets $5 million no, dollars from his I dad. I don't feel bad. What I'm saying is that that adjustment has to kick you in the balls. I mean, yeah. the exposure that they've had, the lifestyle is like, it's not, it's unfathomable to us. Like we can't even, it's, it's beyond they're just like uh, it's like being the the a prince you know it's like your mm -hmm. dad's the sultan of brunei and then he's like well go fucking i mean I, they're probably well adjusted i don't know why i assume that but i think that like uh he and his wife seem like such reasonable people that i bet they've you know prepared them for 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 what's coming <laughs>